wet closings versus dry closings on this episode of Title Tuesday. Hey everybody, welcome back to another fantastic episode of Title Tuesdays. My name's Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO here at Independence Title, also known as your Title King. Don't forget to subscribe below. We are no longer going to be emailing out the videos every single week. We'd like to get you to subscribe below. So you must, if you're watching this video, click the red subscribe button and then you'll see the little alert button. You click that and you will get notifications of all of our new upcoming episodes. We issue them every single Tuesday. So thanks for watching this episode. We wanted to produce this episode because a lot of questions we get asked at some of the networking events is what is the difference between a wet closing and a dry closing? And one of the big differences I want you to think of is money. Everyone wants to get money. There are only about nine or maybe 10 states in the entire country that do dry closings. What is a dry closing? A dry closing means that all of the seller's documents are signed, all of the buyer's documents are signed, everything is reviewed by the lender, there's almost like an extra audit process, and the closing doesn't actually take place until the money is then sent into escrow. So everything is typically signed ahead of time, reviewed for compliance purposes, and then the funding may take place a day or two later. Now we flip over to a wet closing. What is a wet closing? A wet closing is what we see here in the state of Florida. And the reason a lot of clients ask this question is because they may be doing closings in other states or some of the lenders may be a national lender closing in other states and they may get confused. With a wet closing, it means that everything must happen on the same day. The documents get signed. All of the loan documents for the buyer's lender get signed. The money comes into escrow. They issue us a uh, funding number and we disperse the funds the same day. So is there more protection on a wet closing or is there a more protection on a dry closing? Do me a favor and leave your answer below. I'd love to see what you happen to say and I will reply to each of you to let you know which one is a higher risk. So as always, thanks for watching this episode of Title Tuesdays. This was a short one talking about wet closings versus dry closings. Remember here in the state of Florida, if you're one of our clients or real estate agents or investors watching this, we in the state of Florida do wet closings, which means the funds must be in escrow. We get the documents signed and we disperse the closing the same exact day. So thanks for watching this episode. Don't forget to subscribe below. Leave me a comment, maybe something you may have learned from this video, a future video you'd like to see. And as always, check out our Florida Closing Cost Calculator. That is one of our largest used tools here in the state. You can just go to titlerate.com, click on the calculator tab, and you can get instant access to all of your Florida Closing Cost Calculations. So thanks for watching this episode of Title Tuesdays. My name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO, signing off. And I look forward to seeing you at the closing table.